Hi everybody and welcome to our new series of video reviews we're going to be doing over the next few weeks. Uncle Bill, aren't you excited? I'm excited. I know you are. And I'm really excited. Be. I stay excited. Be excited, buddy. Be yeah. excited. We're in a new year here, Uncle Bill. It's insane. We are. Welcome 2000, to the fucking Dome. Yeah, 2013. It almost sounds like a year that would be in a sci-fi movie from the future, right? It does, but it's not. It's the present time. It is. It is present day. Although it is now a post-apocalyptic wasteland. Supposedly, it's supposed to be. It is, yeah. Although we've lived in it all our lives, so we can't really tell the difference. Do you ever think maybe we didn't live through that day, and maybe this we're just ghosts, and this is an alternate Do you ever think that maybe it's not 2013, maybe it's 2053, and maybe like back in the day, you know, before we were born is when they really had the real 2013. Right. You ever thought about things like that? Yeah, I have. How did they keep time back before electronics? See, this is probably like 3057 or something. We just don't know it. Yeah, no clue about that sort of thing. But anyway, we're going to take a, a, a turn towards something we normally don't take a look at, I guess. We're going to... We don't do a whole lot of sci fi reviews on it. Yeah. You ever notice that? And this is a real surprise because. You know, I just watched this uh, movie from Ridley Scott, Prometheus, Uncle Bill, Prometheus. And this is a movie that um, people for years, and we talked about it for years on the show, <coughs> been pre-production, supposedly a prequel to the Alien, although... That idea, like when I originally heard that idea for yeah. it, I was like, oh God, I fucking dread, like crazy going to see this movie. Because just the idea of making a prequel to Alien is horrible anyway. But it's not really that, is it? I mean, no. it is in a way, but it not like you would think. Completely different. It's not like the Texas Chainsaw of, Massacre prequel or anything. Yeah, you know what I mean? It doesn't no. directly relate to shit in it or trying no, to. No, I don't think you have to. You would be fine watching this movie if you've never seen Alien. Right. You'd be perfect, you know. But, okay, I want to be perfectly honest with you. And there was a reason we, I've had this for a while, this Blu-ray for a while. I was kind of dreading watching it, Uncle Bill, I'm going to be honest. I, because sci-fi isn't one of my favorite genres. And Ridley Scott is known to make these movies that are fucking all epically long. Well, that one is long as shit, but yeah. it's not. It's, it's actually short compared to a lot of Ridley Scott movies, though. Like, uh, you know, some of those gladiator movies and shit like that were like three hours long. Epic is a good word for him, though, because, like, not only are the uh, films long as hell, but they're also, like, they're always in these huge set pieces, you know, of all this shit going on and stuff. And everything's so, like, elaborately detailed in all of his movies, and it's just... It, I mean, whether or not you like his films or not, it is amazing yeah. to watch. But the deal with Prometheus, it was, again, it's set what about 80 years in the future or something like that mm -hmm. and it's following a crew that is searching for you know the creators of human man I guess or whatever and they land on this uh, planet that they find and you know uh, chaos ensues from there I guess without giving a whole lot away um, <laughs> well, I can't give a whole lot away no. <laughs> yeah it's like the beginning of the movie, you see uh, what would be, I guess, the creators of people in in some way, or like the prototype. That probably the and not, Prometheus, not John Cena. I'm talking about the prototype for, you know, people basically. Yeah, it's, I'm willing to bet maybe uh, half percent of people even know what that is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, look it up if you. It's a rare prototype, movie. John Cena. Um, yeah, and you and you see that first, and then it, it kind of fa fast forwards to, to the present future day or whatever, and there's this group that's kind of led by Charlize Theron, Charlize Theron, however you want to pronounce her uh, name, uh. and she's uber hot, but also like very robotic in a way. Yeah. And uh, there's the the quintessential android guy, which is played by what is that guy's name? I David, I think. Yeah. I mean that's his character's name. name. Yeah, his, his actual name. Um, He's been in all kinds of shit. Here recently too. Fastbender, Michael Fastbender. Something. Anyway. Guy Pierce. 
I think it is Guy Pierce. <laughs> One of those guys. I'm not. I know him by name. I'm not really familiar with the work that much. Yeah, and then you've got the actual. I guess. Kind of. Let me ask you this: though. What what kind of person would name their son Guy? Hey, Canadian. buddy. Canadian. Buddy and Guy. Hey, buddy. Buddy. Oh, what about guy. Buddy Guy? He's Canadian. He must have been. Yeah, he, he converted to that. Right. <laughs> but the thing that's so amazing about Prometheus to me is the fact that it's so easy to follow. Like a lot of these sci-fi movies for me, and I'll admit it, I mean, this shit goes fucking way over my head. But not with this movie. I mean, it was actually like a lot of fun to watch and very like, if you've got a Blu-ray player, oh my God, this is freaking, you know, some of the stuff that's in this movie looks amazing on your TV for mm -hmm. sure as well. So, uh, a lot I of people, was... <clears throat> A lot of people hated this movie, though. Did you know that? I didn't know that, really. I mean, I know I didn't hear a whole lot of people talk about the movie after it came out, so I didn't figure I was missing much, and that was probably another reason. Like, I was fine with, you know, waiting on it to come out on Blu-ray disc, and I still waited another month and a half, a couple months for it, and me to watch it on Blu-ray. But i got to say, I was pleasantly surprised. I actually really enjoyed it. I think it's the best movie I've seen Ridley Scott do in, in many years in my opinion and I know a lot of people probably be pissed at me for saying that but it's true I'm not even a uh, big fan know. of Ridley Scott's movies anyway like I'm I hate Blade Runner I'm sorry <laughs> like people, he really does I hate that movie well you do too motherfucker I don't think I hate it as much as you but I hate it yeah it's <clears throat> Ridley Scott movies are typically boring to me and that's you know even though this movie looked really cool and everything I didn't want to watch it, but I'm glad I did because I think it's one of the better movies that the guy's ever done, actually. And, uh, uh, you know, I, I thought that it had a lot of great ideas and concepts in it that we haven't really seen in, or I haven't seen at least in the sci-fi film. Well, I mean, look at the last couple of movies that Ridley Scott's done. It's not been a great experience or anything. Did he do Troy? Is that his? Or did he do Alexander or something like he that? He did one of them fucking movies. Yeah, I don't remember which one. One of those stupid fucking, like, caveman like Gladiator this uh, movie to say that it got mixed reviews would probably be an understatement I mean some people like us loved it and then other people were like this is the dumbest shit I've ever seen but I, it, with movies like this it just kind of goes that way it reminds me of almost like a Kubrick movie like there's a lot of people that fucking hate those movies and a lot of people that absolutely think they're the greatest things ever filmed and I, I think that if you give like a movie like this a chance you have to be open minded to it's not like your typical Hollywood blockbuster kind of movie. I think that's what people thought when they hear Ridley Scott. Now they kind of think Gladiator or something. Yeah. But it's really not anything like that. It's much right. more of a odd English douche. Movie. <laughs> yeah, and then that too kind of. It's much more like an odd eccentric kind of fucking yeah. sci-fi movie. Yeah, but as I was saying though, typically for me, like the Ridley Scott films aren't among my favorite movies, but. I really appreciated Prometheus, and I thought that this was... I hope he actually gets a chance to make something else along these lines, like maybe a, a sequel or another prequel sort or something, you know, sci-fi related, because I think he, he definitely hit the ball out of the park with this movie, I think. He'll probably end up doing some shit with Meryl Streep next, though. Ridley Scott and Meryl Streep together. So anyway, uh, that is Prometheus. You can check that out now. It's actually from 20th Century Fox. Uh, if you're looking for something that's demo quality on Blu-ray, this would definitely be it, folks. So check it out, and be sure to check us out. We're the originators of Four Talk Radio. Dapit.com. Haters can shut the fuck up.